Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, gra uh, solve as well as graph uh, this linear inequality. So to do that, we're going to treat this just like an equation, right? Forget about the inequality symbol. That's going to kind of come in handy later when we graph it. But for right now, we just want to treat this just like it's an equation. So sometimes I'll even write in just an equation just to go and solve. But here, we're just this is a two-step equation our two-step inequality. So we're just going to want to use our inverse operations. Again, you can see we want to isolate the x. Um, so we look at what operations are happening to our x. We can see that's being subtracted by 8 and multiplying by 4. So we always undo um, addition and subtraction first. So therefore, I'll add an 8 to both sides. So I have 4x is greater than or equal to 4, uh, positive 4. Now to undo uh, multiplication by 4 on my x, I divide by 4 on both sides. And therefore, I have a final equation. That goes to 1. That went to 0. Final equation of x is greater than or equal to 1. Now, to graph this, all I'm simply going to do is take my number line. We can see it's at 1. So I'm going to start at 0. And I'll just do 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3, negative, <laughs> negative 1, negative 2. Negative 3, 1, 2, 3. OK, so this says x is greater than or equal to 1. So what I do is I put a dot at the 1. All right. Now, since, that's, since this says greater than or equal to, pretty much this tells you, this little line, that means greater than or equal to. And that means 1 is a part of the equation. So I fill it in. And the only way you can do that is just test it, right? Just plug in 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Is 1 greater than or equal to 1? Yes. So that is true. Now we need to determine, are we going to be going to the right or to the left? Are all the solutions to the right or to the left? So we just pick points. I pick a point 3. Or actually, sorry. Let's leave it open. Pick point 3 and negative 3. So I do negative 3 is greater than or equal to 1. Is negative 3 greater than or equal to 1? No, that's false. So therefore, this point is not on my solution, right? It's not a part of my solution. Um, how about is 3 greater than or equal to 1? Yes, that's true as well. So that's filled in. That means all my solutions are going to be to the right. And you can test any point you want to to the right, and you'll notice they're always going to make the inequality true. Test any point to the left, and you'll see that they're always going to be false. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve your two-step inequality as well as graph the solution. Thanks.